thought we had a lot of opportunities early, point blank range, um, to establish an inside game. And some of those missed opportunities led to some foul trouble. And then the foul trouble really hurt us because being a young team, we're not as deep as we need to be. And then you're playing. I mean, we looked out. We had five freshmen on the floor at one time. So when you have those situations and you're throwing them into a rivalry, into a city game, sometimes it's a tough situation. But uh, you know, you look at the two young ladies, Brenna and Callista. Um, you know, they came to fight today, and they brought everything they had. You know, Callista was definitely a force inside with 22 points, and then you look at Brenna with. Uh, 16 rebounds. I mean, she was a monster on the board. And then Stacia Carey was 17. So we really felt like we established our inside game. And I thought we could have even gone to them more uh, throughout the course of the game. But uh, disappointed that you know we couldn't maintain with starters on the bench and you know dug ourselves a very very deep hole. You know, getting down 24 points um, against a good team is very difficult to come back from but so pleased with our players and proud of them of how they just they continue to fight. You know, we talked about playing with a sense of urgency, going inside, attacking off the dribble, and we responded. And players um, you know, just played you know, the way we need to play for 40 minutes. And we always talk about competing for 40 minutes. I thought if we had competed the way we did in the fourth quarter, the game would have been different. But you know, they, they shot the ball well. Um, we, did, we did it. And we did not shoot well from, from three, from the free throw line. And that was a difference in the game. You know, they just hit timely shots. Every time we made a run, they had an answer. But, um, you know, we have to learn from this and we have to grow from this. I mean, you look at how young we are as a team and then how experienced. I thought April Robinson was a difference maker for them at, at the point position. All the things she did today is everything that I loved about her when I coached her as a freshman. And she has only grown into a, a better player and a better leader for that team. So, um, you know, she, she's, she's a good player. Considering you had it down to four in the second quarter, considering, again, the foul trouble you mentioned, how positive of a sign is that for now? But what, what do you kind of do to try to build off of that in, as the game progresses? I think the biggest thing for us is, you know, where that offense is coming from and having perimeter shooters. You know, anytime you have – players that can shoot the three and can stretch the defense, it opens up the inside game. I mean, look at the success we had with the three post players we have against a matchup zone and a, a defense that is um, predicated on taking away your inside game. You know, they were daring us to shoot the three, and we still had success on the inside. We just didn't have those players that could knock down threes today, unfortunately. But we will get there. You know, Tanaya Lamb, Fred Potvin, Cassidy Walsh, three of our uh, better three-point shooters, they need to be factors for us because you know Stacia Carey with her versatility, Brenna with her versatility, um, you know hit 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 one, three of them between them, um, but we need to be more consistent from the perimeter. We have to have that balanced attack where we're hitting perimeter shots to open up our inside game because I feel I'm excited about the three of them moving forward. I, I think a big thing for us was uh, Yassine Diop getting in foul trouble. You know her not on the floor just because of her defensive presence. And then she was the one who, uh, offensive rebounding, attacking the basket. So, um, you know, her limited minutes really uh, hurt us in the course of the game today. Obviously, you can see what, you know, what April does for them on the score sheet. But what about beyond that? You know, just can you speak a little bit to how valuable she is to them in sort of ways that, you know, maybe don't show up in the, in the score box? You know, I, I watch a lot of film. And so watching her on film, you know, in their defense, I don't think they play their matchup when she's not on the floor. Um, is what I've noticed because she's the communicator. She's pointing, she's directing, she's uh, telling people who to guard. Uh, she puts the ball out front and, you know, she's looking to the bench for the call and then she executes uh, Matt Schmidt. I mean, uh, he has a good system in place there um, as the offensive coordinator at Duquesne. And he made, they, they made some timely plays and he had some good calls down the stretch that they were able to capitalize. But a April's become a really good leader for that team. And I think that's what a senior does and that's what a, a, a good point guard does. And, and we'll get there. I think Asia Bug struggled from the floor tonight, but um, you know she had one year playing uh, the wing spot and limited minutes at the point with a, when we had Brianna Kiesel. Now she has to grow into that position of being that vocal leader for our team and, and she will get there. For the, the two players, what was it like playing in your, your first uh, city game? Um. 
It was definitely an experience. Being a Pittsburgh girl, it's obviously something I've watched over the years and now had the opportunity to play in it. And, uh, you know, we went out there and fought and proud of us. And, uh, again, we'll be back next year. So we're coming. Um, you know, I'm not from Pittsburgh, but I know that my teammates are. Um, Brenna and Cassidy are both very close freshmen. They're very um, emotional about this game. I think because Coach was so emotional, it just made me want to work harder. Um, the win, it was everything. I wish we could have won just to give it to Coach because she was so emotional about this game. <laughs> but, you know, um, it's upsetting, and, and next year, maybe maybe we'll get it. Do you guys feel like in that fourth quarter that you, know, you, you could possibly do what it takes to, to have that happen? Well, actually, fourth quarter, all I remember was Brenna came up to me, and she said, <laughs> she said, let's not give up. Let's just keep going. And then next thing you know, we were down by 10. Um, Stacia came in. She hit, I remember her hitting two threes. Uh, the lead was just... Uh, loosening, and I just remember looking at the scoreboard and I said, we could actually do this. And then when the game went down, we didn't get the win, but it was definitely um, emotional. I think it's tough to come back from 24, but at the same time, when it starts with your head coach, he's telling you it's 24 points. you got a lot of time left on the clock. You know, having someone, you know, continue to reinstate that in you, you continue to play like that. And we just cut it and cut it and cut it. And we've always been taught to play to the final buzzer. And I think we did that. Coach, I know today was emotional for you in the sense of the game, but in the sense of the pregame with the ring ceremony, what was it like for you to have that experience and kind of have a chance to reflect on what's happened and what continues to happen here today? You know, the ring cer ceremony was a nice touch, and we were able to get a lot of people here uh, for the ceremony, but it was something that was planned last minute. The rings had just came in, just come in um, this week, so go, moving forward to ACC, really didn't want to do it um, in an ACC game. Um, going forward, but you know, it was just a nice touch to honor our players that got us to the NCAA tournament. You know, we had three players not here in uh, Brianna Kiesel, Cor McManus, and then my daughter, Jordan Sirio. Um, the three of them weren't here, but it, I thought it was just a nice touch um, that we could honor our team and, and have them recognized for the accomplishments. So uh, moving forward, um, that everything right now is behind us. The non-conference season is over. We have to get ready for the conference season. And I think Calista thought it was a little too emotional. I mean, obviously, um, you know, th there's a special place in my heart because my fo first collegiate job was at Duquesne, and I still have some ties. Abel Robinson's the only player, but it's more the place and the people on the administration side of it that I have relationships with and um, that will always ha have a place in my heart because I coach there. But uh, I love where I am. I love being at Pitt and the opportunity that I have and the players that we are coaching and the people that I work with here. Um, moving forward, uh, I am so excited about the future of our program. What do you take out of the non-conference schedule in terms of maybe where you started in there right now? Well, I think you look at the teams that we have played. You know, we play Maryland who just played Connecticut close. Um, you know, we, we played against South Dakota State who has traditionally been – an NCAA tournament team, they win their conference every year. You know, we had a shot to win the game, we lost by one. Um, you look at Michigan, who is a much improved team, you know, Princeton, um, and now Duquesne, who just knocked off a number 25 team. So you look at when putting a schedule together of having a balance. You know, you pay, play those games at home, but you also need to play against uh, quality competition uh, in the non conference to get you ready for the ACC. You know, we can't have an easy schedule and then be faced with ACC competition moving forward. So, you know, when you put a schedule together um, and, you know, we threw them right into the fire. I mean, it, there was um, some great games that we have played. Um, you know, we've been challenged and I, you know, hopefully as a team, we learn, we grow. And, and that's the biggest thing is every day we go to practice, every game we compete, all we're doing is looking to get better. And I mean, if you look at this stat sheet in a lot of areas with 22, with 11 and 16, um, you know, Stacia with 17, we've gotten better. And we can, if we can keep Yassine on the floor, we get Asia Bug shooting the ball like I know she's capable of shooting. Uh, we'll have a dangerous five and, and then look to go you know, in our bench. It depends on how they practice. And I think that was the thing that was a surprise today is how well these players have practiced and didn't come off the bench looking to, um, 
to score, I mean, hit shots and, and make contributions the way I know they're capable of playing. So you know, we're a team that, for us to be successful, we need multiple scores. And we have to have a balanced attack. So you know, moving forward, we'll look to you know, get our players back to being confident that they can knock down shots in big games.